Welcome back to the nostalgic future. Man, it's good to be back. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at PlayStation 1 emulation on the Z Flip 3. And also, PlayStation 1 emulation with a real DualShock. And not only that, if you saw my last video, you may know that I said that I couldn't figure out a way to get a clean 4x3 image on the emulator, and I wish that the developers would implement something for that in the future. Well, that was all on me. There is a way to get a proper 4x3 image on this. It's just not the way that you would imagine. And with that being said, let's load into a level on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater real quick and give that DualShock a try. And really just take the simulator out for a walk real quick. See if it gets glitchy. See if it plays smooth. See if there's anything that we can change to make it look better. So let's drop in. Now, I'm sure it's no surprise here, but this phone's gonna tear right through PlayStation. It is buttery smooth, and I can't really describe how strange it feels playing it with this DualShock controller. It's unreal. It's, it's, it's like playing it the way you remember it. You know, if you play an old game, you may remember it looking better than it really did. But with this, you can have it look better than it really did and still feel the way it always did. And that's, that's awesome. But let's really get down to business here. I'm going to show you everything you need to do to get this working the way it should be working on the Z Flip 3. First, go to Screen Preferences. Now this is the money right here. If you set the screen orientation to half landscape, and then set screen ratio to 4 by 3 it will stretch the image appropriately while you have your little flex mode panel activated at the bottom now let's go to video preferences I always like to use hardware and shaders then internal resolution I already had it set on X2 Let's go ahead and put it on 4. So, 4x internal resolution. Video filtering enabled. Filter for 2D games. That makes a lot of difference on a lot of games. So, x4 for sure. We're going to turn everything all the way up. Definitely want to take m advantage of more than one core at a time also and GPU shader, FXAA. That's just, in my opinion, my favorite way to configure it. You can start from there and then go wherever you like. So let's try Crash real quick. Specifically Crash 3, because I think it's really well optimized and I think it looks great on the original PlayStation. So I can only imagine it would look fantastic with our shaders as well. And honestly, this is just another one of those emulators that almost feels like it was made for this phone. You can turn everything all the way up, and the only problem that you're going to run into is lack of battery life. And I didn't even realize that it was going to work well on this phone until I sat around and tinkered with it for long enough to figure out how to get the screen scaled the way I wanted. But I think it was all worth it. It's really satisfying to play PlayStation with so many upscalers and with a real DualShock on a little phone that you can just pop open and sit on a table. And I've got to be honest, this little thing just keeps surprising me at every turn. And are there any PS1 games you're excited to play on your Z Flip? Please comment below, I'd love to know. And as always, I appreciate every one of you. Thanks for sticking around this long. And our next one, we're going to be covering N64. And until then, I'll wait for you here at The Nostalgic Future.